his 13-fight winning streak is no more, but Max Holloway still makes this walk here tonight as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world when it comes to pace, pressure, preparation, cardio. Few guys are going to be able to match with this Hawaiian person. And he can do it all. He's got great ability to get back up once he's taken down. He has takedown ability. But it's the range and the distance management that makes Max Holloway such a problem for everyone at 145 pounds. He doesn't seem as though he's doing 100% effort to every strike. He's just touching you. Right. But the accumulation of damage that Max Holloway will put on you will make guys just fold in front of him, as we saw with Ortega and in both Jose Aldo fights. He's a big featherweight. We have seen him compete at 155 pounds. He has said he wants to move up to welterweight uh, before his UFC and career is so done. He wants to beat me. Yeah, he wants a shot at the heavy <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Max Holloway enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe him? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. There's that jab from Max Holloway. 
Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the octagon. Huge right hand from Jose Aldo. We'll see if he can follow it up here, DC. Lock to life out of what Jose Aldo has done in the stand-up here tonight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Big power shot there. Two minutes have ripped off the round one clock. Throws the tee. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked with the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Another leg kick lands. Late round action here, and it has been vintage Jose Aldo all night mixing up his weapons absolutely beautifully on the feet. He's mixing them up beautifully, and he's doing a great job of recognizing, hey, this is where I'm best. I know my hands are great. I know my grappling's great. But when I get these leg kicks going, no one can go with them. It's showing again why Jose Aldo's just a man. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legit... Side leg kick, that'll score. All the way able to land that left. He sets this really high pace with the hope that his opponent can't keep up. And we've seen him do it. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Misses are entertaining. The kick is there to the body. Overhand left, right to the dome. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Aldo. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Push kick there to the body. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, a nice straight there by Hall. Beautiful. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, flying knee to the head. Well, you don't see that if you're Dave. Lands a huge strike, and the follow-up shot is not another punch. It's talking smack. If I'm the opponent, I want to bust him right in his mouth. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, now we get to our second round, DC. Jose Aldo and Max Blessed Holloway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah.
strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Holloway gets tagged by that stiff jab. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the defense because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and then showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway jab? It just makes him look easy. He makes him look easy, and now he's throwing him more. He's throwing more jabs because he has an understanding of what his opponent is doing in return every time he throws the shot. This guy's good, man. And we have seen him on multiple occasions have these star-making performances with... Oh! Just misses with the straight right. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. It's under three minutes now to go on the round. Good right hand from the top. He's got some hands, man. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Man, Holloway at his relentless best. No breathing room for the opponent as he continues to press forward here. Nice defense. Holloway's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been short. Cat foul. You gotta play cat foul. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job with it. All right, single caller time now. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, big elbow. And back to his feet. Under 90 seconds to go. Nice punch there by Aldo. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling of sticks. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on it. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out of the space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon. Go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has to be. Well, the fighter's going to have to address this offense coming his way. He's getting really bloody around that eye. Yeah, and now it's just become a big target because his opponent is just seeing the blood and he's just going after it. He has got to move his head before the strike starts coming in his direction. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Final seconds here. Oh, you heard him? Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, oh. oh what a round. How good was that? All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, the round is over, and Aldo's corner showing a little bit of concern here, DC. The cut around his eye really starting to swell. Cut man's got to do his best work right here, right now. 
All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. Lands a big right hand coming up. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Aldo's really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Holloway. Back and forth we go. Nice job blocking the elbow. What a kick. That one landed. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that gets getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Aldo's doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the... Oh! Ooh, punch lands. I'll stop this. You better Holloway's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. Holloway gets up. He is back on the feet here. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, Jay. Oh, vicious combo there. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, man, another strike gets through. You can only describe his condition as critical now. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground. Oh, in good position to rip off the Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. I need you to scramble, scramble. Great defense by the defensive <laughs> fighter. Let's work, I'm gonna stand this off. Uh. Seems as though he's not gonna be deterred. He wants a sub. Short scramble, time now in the round. Scramble. Gotta watch his neck. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. This has gotta be it. He's got the submission. Oh, how did he get out? He pushed the elbow up, released the pressure, and turned his back down to the mat. Great job and great submission defense by this young man. Way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You can see him now starting.
Hogarth, the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Aldo's an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside physician and potentially stop this fight. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally. Oh, what is it? Back to his feet. Oh, yeah! Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fresh. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't going to get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, nice straight there by Holloway. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and... Yeah, it was only a matter of time. You see the referee pausing the action here. They're going to call in the doctor to look at this cut. Might be the beginning of the end here. I mean, blood all over his face. He's been beat up, battered and bruised. He still wants to fight. Yeah. Doctor talking to the referee right now, and... All right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision, at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight to this point. Let's see how he deals with this bad cut. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. Gets us right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would think. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this, and as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Oh, oh he gets up. The question is for how long? Oh, big head kick land. All right, time to go to the gas station. Oh! And that'll do it! Oh, my God! What a result in Rio, a stunner! Holy smokes! The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Blessed. Holloway. 
How about your boy? I mean, that's your boy, Max Holloway. I know you're an objective observer, but to see your friend produce a knockout like that on this stage, that's heady stuff. Yeah, it's, it's huge for Max.